Hello viewers. So we are starting the wash of this uh, painting. Uh, so first I have put in water on the left hand side of paper. I have left this portion where it will be kind of pinkish color because of the pink wall. Uh, on, on the left hand side we have mostly the blue tones. So I have pre-wet the paper and we don't mind this color to flow down so i have taken a bit of ultramarine blue and i have uh, lightly given a shade of uh, this color on the um, leftmost wall over here then this is some azure blue color of white knights i am mixing it with a bit of raw umber <coughs> some blue and raw umber together and i am putting it on the left side of paper uh, over here there is a bit of uh, warmth so i am uh, putting crimson color and uh, a bit of uh, uh, vermilion color <coughs> combination however uh, the, the majority color is blue so we will keep the topmost portion where the light is falling as blue only uh, now on on the hut uh, which is uh, in the center so it has a very light uh, uh, bluish and teal kind of color so i am uh, choosing uh, a combination of uh, ultramarine blue and uh, cobalt teal so uh, which is which will be more or less a kind of greenish blue so i will first put in this blue color and drag it down and then i will be using a bit of cobalt teal uh, in a concentrated form uh, for the lower portion as as i go down uh, i will be using a bit more concentrated color over here uh, because it is darker uh, in the uh, in the lower portions over here yeah <clears throat> like that so uh, this portion we would try to you know put some water and keep this portion light and then on this portion I am putting in some cobalt teal color over here Now, uh, to do the, uh, you know, this brick wall, I will let this color flow and I will mix in yellow ochre uh, and some, because this portion is catching the sunlight. So I will put a lot of yellow. I will drop in some crimson color also. And so basically it will be yellow ochre and crimson uh, mixture so some over here some places i have kept in, uh, the yellow ochre and some places i have put on uh, the crimson color and uh, uh, when it goes down again uh, this is falling in the shadow portion so we'll be having this portion dark uh, but at this moment it will be a combination of uh, uh, yellow ochre blue and uh, crimson color so that would be it for uh, the time time being yeah like that so it is looking very colorful and i like uh, colors basically so uh, the, the colorful it is the better it is so <clears throat> now we will pre-wet this portion on the left hand uh, on the right hand side this area so this area is a very light pink color <coughs> so what we will do is take some pure crimson color and we'll just give it a light brushing so right now it is looking slightly more concentrated but once it dries it will become very light color and this entire portion is uh, uh, being caught by sunlight so feel free to you know keep it uh, uh, nice and uh, light I'm taking a bit of vermilion uh, 
uh, here and uh, you know giving some redness to this portion over here and dragging it downwards okay so uh, majority portion of the wash wash is already done but however I, I would like to take out some color from this portion because I want this portion to be slightly lighter so later on uh, I will will be putting uh, some shadows over here I'm putting few drops of water to impart some texture because these are walls and then I will take my uh, hair gun and then dry it so, so for the sky I have now rotated the paper uh, so that uh, the water flows in this direction it doesn't mess the walls and things that we painted earlier <laughs> so I am taking I am making a basic uh, grey color so I am taking some <coughs> ultramarine blue and mixing it with uh, yellow ochre and uh, uh, a bit of uh, crimson so uh, together I am making a kind of uh, dark grey color and uh, what I will do is I will very carefully I will be using this color uh, so this kind of composition is very rare because uh, we have a very dark greyish sky but uh, still there is sunlight which is falling on certain sections uh, so this is a very surreal kind of uh, uh, composition uh, the subject is uh, I mean this kind of subject is created um, seldom only I will, we will not get to see similar subjects more often so uh, I was lucky I could see it and take a photo so that we, we are able to now work on it so I am just letting uh, the sky get a dark uh, color and dark uh, background and uh, so now we will work on uh, the shadows that we are seeing over here uh, over here and over here so <coughs> I will take uh, this brush now which is a number 14 uh, brush so I will mix in some ultramarine and uh, I will take some <coughs> raw sienna mix it with uh, some uh, vermilion and some <coughs> yeah so yeah, so this is the this is the perfect color that we want now we will go with uh, like that yeah and then we will go down so will go down and then here there is a place where some sunlight is being is hitting so we will just uh, work our way around it but this portion this portion completely will be dark only with a slight amount of warmth and then like that yeah. so uh, here we will have something like that and here we will have a kind of a dimension to it so uh, we will mix in some more ultramarine and uh, some crimson to get a kind of violet color and then we will put a shadow of some pole or something which is sitting on this place because it is there in the reference and then this kind of uh, small shadow like that so this crisp shadow is very important it gives an indication that the sunlight is very strong <coughs> now we will work uh, on this portion so I am taking uh, ultramarine blue and uh, you know bit of uh, bit of this crimson color and bit of vermilion color to get a kind of uh, violet and we will work on this using the violet color so here the entire thing will be coated with this violet color okay like 
that and yeah so here also we have the darkness so you see this this is the demarcation of the shadow and inside like that it has gone and it's a more bluish kind of shadow so i'll leave it here basically uh, we have some windows over here windows uh, have grills so we we'll put the grills here like that okay leave it and then uh, let's take some turquoise here so just to lighten the uh, shadow a bit take some water quest so this is a slight different kind of uh, shadow that we have got so i will put this shadow and just try to follow the shape that i am seeing okay um i will have a rough shape shadow So uh, at this moment, just let it be like that. Uh, <clears throat> so we have uh, more shadows to work on. I will again take some more uh, turquoise, and uh, I will mix it with the violet that we had. So let's take some more turquoise. We want this tone to be slightly lighter. This is for this particular shadow. You see over here, and over here, and then there is one more shadow like that, and then there is shadow like that. Okay, and then we have shadow over here and over here, and it has gone. This shadow has gone all the way like that. do this thing over here side it okay so we can be creative we can put in more tweaks says we'll keep adding some different color for harmony um, like that so over here if you see it is more reddish so we will keep it reddish only and So, 
so we are putting in a lot of darkness here and then I make some orange over here So this is basically I'm putting, I'm giving some tinge of yellow also, so that this uh, this place feels as if it is very close to uh, the sunlight, and then we will blend it out also. And this complete portion is covered in good shadow. So I will do like that. Pull it in. Okay. We'll take some red. this moment itself you would be able to visualize how beautiful this is going to get Achha, what we need to do now is over here we have one thing coming like that here we have extra darkness so this is like the darkest of dark i have i had some color in my brush so i'm putting it over here and some darkness is over here and some darkness is over here so now if you see this portion it looks like a window this portion looks like uh, there is a platform or something so uh, we will let it dry and we will come back and do these things and more or less uh, it is coming to a closure only okay guys so now <coughs> this has completely dried up <coughs> so uh, first and foremost uh, we will uh, you know, create this patch if there is a patch uh, which uh, basically is to segregate this portion I mean th there is a patch uh, of wall which is not plastered it looks uh, something which is not interesting so that uh, our eyes focus on the things which are interesting so we'll just give it a different color and just you know let it be an ugly patch we'll not uh, make this beautiful we'll just wet it the way it is and because sunlight is falling this will slightly be more lighter but it will not be something which is interesting so that is done. <coughs> uh, this portion has come out nicely. Uh, what I need now is some shadow over here. So this is this is lighter than this one. Some shadow here and little shadow here. So this sort of shadow. This will be more darker, right? This. One. Let's give it a This portion will be lighter because this is uh, light is falling directly on that. Now we will take our uh, small brush. Uh, that is, I think, the number two uh, more brush. We will mix in some more dark. Uh, so we will take blue, mix it with uh, uh, crimson leg and then mix a bit of uh, uh, raw sienna to it and then we get a nice uh, dark brown color. So what we will do is we will go and put this on one side of the windows like that to create a more defined dark patch. 
okay like that and just give some here uh, you know patches some lines like that now uh, we will take the same same dark color and pulling this slightly nearer to me and i am i will zoom it over here so that it is visible to you i am mixing some more dark here so over here <coughs> this is very dark in color and uh, so that is what we are doing also we are trying to make this more dark uh, basically this is the um, area of the inside of the roof so and the roof is made up of thatched uh, i mean uh, some tarpaulin or and some twigs etc so let's make this dark here there is something but it's dark that's okay and now over here we take a bit of the locker and a bit of the raw wood mix it together and at certain places give it uh, extra definition so here also you know Okay, so now it looks as if uh, light is falling on this surface, and because uh, over here light is not being trapped, so this is very very dark. This particular twig, uh, okay, and then on top of the house there are some bits and pieces of uh, tree branches kept like that, because of which we are seeing such nice shadows. So we'll give that, and then so this will this will be slightly darker. These branches and everything. Just leave it like that. We need not do much work over there. This is just giving a suggestion that some branches are over here on top, and that is creating these shadows over here. Later on, we will take some white and put a few branches on top over here. That we will do later on. <coughs> Now, what we will do is we will take up more uh, blue and make it little darker. So that here on this portion we can make a kind of uh, shadow portion. Uh, and if you see, uh, mix this blue with little bit of brown on this portion. There is some gradient. Okay, over here also there is some gradient. So we will put. so it should not have a very sharp edge the meaning is it should have some softness in the edge <coughs> this softness is needed because uh, in the very old houses so there there have been lot of <coughs> repair works so uh, because of that over time the edges have been smoothed out So it will feel as if there is some sunlight actually hitting the surface. So this portion is looking different. Under the shadow, it is looking slightly different. Now, in this portion, we will have to make a little more blue. Okay. So this portion just stands out. Okay. And 
Also over here, uh, there, there is some brick or something, some brick color, mud color type of thing is there. So just put in a bit of vermilion. Let us really not do anything more no, over here because that's actually going to be. right now uh, I think it's zoomed properly so we'll be making these bricks right now and uh, this human being out here uh, first of all I will take out some <coughs> blue color from his pant so for that I will be <coughs> taking a damp damp brush and then I will be uh, lifting some color Hello friends, so uh, so basically the sky is done, uh, the shadows over here and the shadows over here are done. Uh, this portion is also looking uh, uh, okay. The stone wall over here, so this is basically a stone wall. So here also the shadow has come out nicely. So here also you see there is a blend of uh, yellow and red colors. Uh, the pink wall has come out nice. This patch is also uh, uh, fine. So right now we will be working on the stone wall over here and we will define the um, you know uh, shadows of uh, the bricks. So uh, what we will do is we will take in uh, some uh, paints grey color over here and then mix it with the uh, red color uh, which is uh, your uh, vermilion color and we will take some blue color also as well blue which is ultramarine blue. So it is a mixture of ultramarine blue, some paints color and some red color. Uh, and then it's a dark color uh, because we are going to define uh, the, uh, the, the stone stones in the wall. Uh, so how they are being laid. So uh, then and at another place, let's have another batch of color, which is red color simple red color and blue color so slightly so no paints really has been mixed so this is slightly bluish this is slightly darkish so so let's uh, uh, work on this thing like this so what i am doing is basically i am putting <coughs> dots i am not uh, making continuous lines but rather i am i am making sort of uh, you know broken lines and then what we need to do is uh, you know take some orange so you see these areas uh, we will will give some more dimension uh, so this is basically the darkest dark or, or the dark shadow and then what I'm doing right now is giving some mid tone at, at certain places um, so like that so certain places So we have to be a bit clever here, we don't want to put in, uh, you know, the exact details, but still you, you need to, you have to bring uh, the, bring it close to reality, how real it looks. Over here, if you see that there is a kind of uh, texture 
so we will take some blue color and then dab it in uh, some uh, cloth and then we will use the head of the brush to impart the texture you see it was so easy to give this texture okay. so just a little trick So we'll take a uh, tissue paper and dab and you know, take out color, uh, reduce the intensity etc. This is so let me zoom in over here to show exactly what and how I'm doing it. So we we'll have some pink color also. Some red color. Let's go. So we will go in a kind of a round angle because that is how the stones have been arranged. And uh, so some of the stones are big, some of the stones are small. So we can be a little irregular. Not a problem with that. So this is a little monotonous because we have to do the same thing at multiple places. Certain uh, stones are arranged, you know, in in what uh, I mean they have been arranged vertically. So I'm just blocking in that area with a vertical stone, and then <coughs> like that. Usually uh, these are the stones which have fallen apart, and then they have been replaced with these. Uh,
I'm using a grey uh, colour uh, for this uh, pant area. So usually we will be imparting a shadow over here like that and then a shadow on this portion <coughs> and then we will be blending this thing. We will take some metal symbol from the rest of the pant here. Let me make this side a darker color on the shadow <coughs> and this is the shoe. Now we will take some crimson color and mix it with a bit of pale grey <coughs> and we will apply it on this, on this person's um, upper body which is uh, like he is wearing a sweater, half sweater. <coughs> and then <coughs> there are these patterns. some concentrated um, yellow ochre and vermilion together that will be it for the face portion <coughs> so this portion will be slightly lighter <coughs> My throat is giving some problem since one or two days, so never mind. And let me just give a kind of guiding wave over here. We are done with the figures and everything. So right now you see uh, <coughs> we are left with only one thing and that is making the uh, electric wires which are causing the shadows. So just one or two uh, lines here and there. Uh, <coughs> so let's start. Make some dark colors. <coughs> some red and some gray and some blue. And then we'll be just making this electric lines like that. Is creating this 
shadow. <coughs> Okay guys, so we are done with this painting <coughs> and this painting has turned out you know, nice in my own opinion. So uh, thanks for uh, staying in touch and learning something uh, from me and uh, I hope you have subscribed to the channel. Give, give a like if you like the work and also uh, write a comment about uh, whether you learned something or not and what could have been better. Thank you. Bye-bye.